Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm going to show you how I made an Xbox Series X cake. A lot of you have asked me to make video game console cakes, and the Xbox Series X was recently released, so I figure now is as good of a time as any. Let's make it a cake. If you like this cake, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now because I put out a new cake video every week. So let's get started. I'm stacking vanilla cake with lime green buttercream between the layers. I use lime green buttercream on my cakes all the time because I like the color. And apparently the Xbox people also enjoy it because this Xbox Series X is black and the same color green. This cake is meant to be. No matter what size I make this cake, all that I have to do to make sure that the proportions are correct is to make it twice as tall as it is wide. So here I have five inch square layers of cake and I'm stacking it 10 inches tall, approximately. Now that the cake is stacked, I'm covering the whole thing in a thin layer of buttercream. Like a pro. <laughs> I'm messy. I'm placing a wooden dowel into the top of the cake and it goes through all the layers. So this cake is really tall and it's very narrow. So this dowel keeps the cake layers from shifting and sliding while I ice it. I'll just take it out once I'm finished. I'm covering all the sides with buttercream and then I smooth them out with a super tall scraper to clean it up. The Xbox Series X kind of looks like a PC. You know, it has like a tower look. And like a PC, the Xbox Series X has a lot of high-end parts. So I guess they thought if it's going to be able to fit PC components, then why not shape it like a PC? The cake is iced, so now I'm placing it in the fridge to firm up while I work on the top grill. The grill is probably the most interesting part of this console as far as the design goes. So it has this neat illusion happening where when you look at it at a certain angle, it looks like the center is glowing green and it's really neat. So how am I going to create this effect, you ask? Well, I did a little research and I have an idea of how this illusion works. Basically, the top is slightly concave, so it dips in a bit and that is the key to the illusion. So here I'm rolling out modeling chocolate flat and then I'm taking a bendable smoother and I'm pressing down in the center so the chocolate in the center is thinner and then it gets thicker towards the outside edge. Next comes the grill holes. <laughs> so I'm using a round piping tip to punch out small circles to create the holes. This is one of those cakes where being a human kind of stinks. <laughs> I'm using my imperfect hands and my imperfect eyes to try to replicate something that was made by a machine. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to try my best. Here you can start to see how the illusion works. So the holes towards the center show more of that white underneath because the chocolate's thinner. And then the holes on the outside edges show a lot less of that white because the chocolate's thicker. To complete the illusion, I've rolled out some green modeling chocolate and I'm placing the black over top. And look, it worked. It's like there's a round green center. It's so fun. All that's left for the grill is to trim the edges and cut it down to size. And back to the cake tower, so I rolled out black modeling chocolate. I placed it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. That way I can pick up the chocolate panels and place them directly onto the cake because they're cold and they're chilled and they're firm. If the chocolate wasn't chilled, it would just fold in half and it would be really difficult to handle. Once the panel's secured to the cake, I just trim away the excess chocolate with a blade. Before I trim the top, I'm placing the grill on top. That way I can make sure that it lines up and it looks nice and pretty. Then I just continue to add chocolate panels and trim away the chocolate until the entire thing is covered. When I was researching the Xbox Series X, I saw that there were videos online of people claiming that their consoles were smoking. 
Well, it turns out that they were just vaping and then blowing the vape through the bottom of the console and it made it look like it was smoking. So no worries, the Xbox does not smoke. <laughs> the last thing to add are some details on the front. There's a power button, a disc tray, there's a USB port, and a few other buttons. And there you have it, an Xbox Series X cake. Pretty excited to cut this one. Let's. I'm gonna cut it right through. I'm gonna cut it all the way down. I post a new cake video every week, so if you like this video, subscribe now. And if you like this cake, let us know by giving this video a like.